Boris Johnson stands on the cusp of another critical moment in his epic battle with Last April, of course, it was the PM's own life that was on the line when he lay in intensive care with the virus. This time, the future success of Britain is in the balance as he prepares to unveil his plan to unlock the nation. Tomorrow he will reveal his detailed blueprint to lead us out of a series of ruinous lockdowns that have devastated the economy, jobs and the education of but the PM has plenty to draw comfort from. In January, the peak month for illness when COVID was rife and the NHS at its most vulnerable. Emergency hospital admissions were actually lower than the same month for a year. Lockdown and our amazing NHS staff did their jobs, and countless thousands of lives were saved. At the same time the government now believes every adult in Britain could be vaccinated by the end of July. An astonishingly all-important R rate is below 1 for Britain as a whole, suggesting cases are dwindling. And in our poll today 81% of the population salute the jab rollout. News that friends and family can meet up again soon, while sports fans will be able to take up team games again will set pulses racing. But Boris needs to be bold tomorrow. The situation in our schools is desperate. Jobs and businesses public finances are in a parlous state. Read all about it with money tight. Thousands of poor homes have missed out on books during what so just a month ago we teamed up with the Book Trust Charity and asked you to send us your old, unwanted volumes for re Your response was magnificent and now a staggering 10,000 brand new books are being sent out to families who need them. What better gift can anyone give a child than a love of reading, especially with so much schooling law?